I'm not going to resign. Uh, I work for the people of the state of New York. They elected me. Defiant, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is clinging to power, but for how much longer? Without explicitly saying it, he, he implied to me that I was old enough for him and he was lonely. This week, Cuomo's former aide, Charlotte Bennett, came forward with her story of alleged sexual harassment. I thought, he's trying to sleep with me. The governor is trying to sleep with me. Cuomo has apologized without admitting wrongdoing. I now understand that I acted in a way that made people feel uncomfortable. But his problems don't stop there. He and his administration are under fire and under investigation for allegedly hiding the number of COVID deaths in the state's nursing homes. The New York Times reports some of those efforts were underway just as Cuomo started writing a book about his pandemic achievements in a state where more than 47,000 people perished. We need a full investigation into the allegations of sexual harassment. We need a full investigation into the nursing home scandal. New York City is currently... It's a stunning two. fall for a governor who won an Emmy for his popular pandemic briefings. This was the trajectory of COVID in our state. There was once talk of a future presidential run. Now there are calls for Cuomo to resign or be impeached. One of the reasons why he's facing the difficulties he's facing and he doesn't have the friends around him who might stand up for him. The Cuomo name is legendary in New York. His father was once governor. His brother is CNN anchor Chris right, Cuomo. The, is it true that this was the swab? that the nurse was actually using on you. Who helped promote the elder Cuomo during the pandemic and is now ducking one of the biggest stories in the country. And obviously, I cannot cover it because he is my brother. Now left with few friends and even fewer defenders, a political dynasty has come crashing down as the embattled governor tries to hang on. Jackson Prosco, Global News.